Welcome back to Meat Revival. Today Mike and I are over in Memphis and we're uh, just kind of making some rounds, checking out some uh, barbecue joints. Right now we're over at the Cozy Corner Restaurant, the old established barbecue joint here in town. We're going to give her a go, see what we think. Yeah, Cozy Corner was established in 1977 and when they say uh, don't judge a book by its cover, I think this place hits that right on the head. Yeah, it was. I mean, honestly, if I was driving by here, that's what I'd be doing is driving by. I wouldn't stop. Kevin says, no, no, it's a good place to go. I think he's probably going to be right. So we'll be back with you here soon. Check out some food and uh, see how it turns out. So tell me a little bit about this pit. This is really cool. Well, this is the old, this is the big pit. This is called our big pit. Um, there was two of them. That's a new one over there. Uh, they just big fish. She does all the hot cooking. Uh, it's pretty good. She's been around since the beginning. That one, like I said, is very new. We had a fire about a little less than a year ago, and one of them caught fire, so we had to get that one. But then we had, we had to take an inferno to burn it down. <laughs> yeah. So charcoal, wood fire? Charcoal. 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 All charcoal. All straight charcoal. All straight charcoal. All and they call, they call them an aquarium because it kind of looks like an aquarium. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is, this is my baby. She used to, she gets very hot. Um, what's the movie with the two women? I can't remember. I can't, oh, I can't remember. But they nine. Oh, got their nine, man. Been a bad day. So, but yeah, she's um, they just they do the cooking. Okay. She's new. Got, got the she's new fight. one. Yeah. Is she learning? She's, she's very fighting. She's very fighting. We have to slow. We have to do things to slow her down. Uh. Like keep the shoot uh, shoot over a little while. Um, just make sure she don't get too, so much heat. She'll burn stuff up real quick. <laughs> we don't want that. No, we don't care that. Mm. So Mike, what do we got here? Where are we at? Right now we're at Cozy Corner Restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee. We come to check out some barbecue, some Memphis landmarks. So we come in, we've taken a little tour of the, the back, saw the aquarium bits that they got going on back there. We're about to try out some of these wings and some of these ribs. Now this was the pit master's recommendation. So we're gonna go with his, his thinking. We're gonna go with what he suggests and see how they are. So these look like, like they're dry. Tell me, tell me what, what is the, the dry rib idea? The Memphis thing is kind of the dry rub capital of the world when it comes to ribs. Most ribs that you find here won't be sauced. They'll just be a, a dry rub done on them. Sometimes they'll cook them with a dry rub, and then the last minute they'll throw a dry rub on right on top just for a little extra kick. So you say, let's get into them, take a, take a bite. I, I agree. This, this looks good. We got some sauce. We try one dry, try one with some sauce, and, and see what it's like. I mean, let's go. All right. All right. So, Kevin, if you notice these ribs, they're kind of dark looking. Uh, when we took a tour of the pit out there, you notice they were cooking completely on charcoal. No wood whatsoever, it's all a charcoal cut back there. I think that's what kind of gives it the darker look. So I'm kind of curious as to how this is gonna taste. You know, we think about charcoal, we're just grilling all the time, but they're actually using this in a smoker. Should be interesting. I agree, I agree, I look forward. I can tell you those wings look real nice though too. Full wings. And it is a full wing, which is something you don't see much anymore. Most of the time they take the wing tip off when they're going to cook them. You just get the drummy and the flapper. Right. That's all you get. And if I notice too, the light bread, that's just a staple in the old barbecue joints. You don't get rolls. You don't get all this fancy stuff. You just get light bread. So it looks like you're fixing to get your first bite of that, Kevin. I am. I'm going to go with the dry style. Try it just as they serve it without uh, any sauce on it. So we'll go. It's got a pretty good texture to it. I have a feeling it's going to fall right off the bone. Okay, so give me the first impression. It's amazingly tender. It uh, fell right off the bone for cooking right over charcoal at a higher heat as he was telling us. 
it's really, really nice. I, I don't think there's any wrap. I think this is cooked straight over the over the coals. So are you getting a strong charcoal flavor? It's a mild charcoal flavor. It's not not very strong. Um, it, it's got a good pork flavor to it, and uh, just a, a real light hint of a of a spice. See, comes right off that bone. Oh, well, that's what you want. If you're gonna eat them, that's the way to eat them. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That is for sure. Here we go. First bite. Full charcoal smoked rib. You know, I'm pleasantly surprised. The seasoning kind of comes in right on top of that charcoal flavor. Yeah. It's really pretty nice. It's different than what we're used to. Oh, it's totally different. You know, we're used to just a full smoked rib, you know, where it's sweet and a little bit of heat yeah. to them. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of heat off this rub now. But it's not offensive at all. It's not offensive. It's pretty good, I have to admit. I think their tenderness is spot on. You know, when you can take a bite off the rib and clean the bone like that, and the bone didn't necessarily turn white, so that it wasn't a high heat that this was run under, it was run under a low heat. I think that's a perfect cooked rib. All the way up. Nothing wrong with that. Cozy Corner Restaurant. Try the ribs, folks. Here. And all I see is one bottle of sauce on all the tables. Yeah. Uh, there's a ketchup bottle over there. But all I see is one kind of sauce. I know that she put sauce on the grill. Yeah, I tried it on this one. So how do you like it? You know, it's interesting. It's it's not a sweet sauce. It's not a vinegar sauce. It's almost like a, a, a hybrid between the two. Okay. Um, but on the rib, it's really good. So typically, we drown our ribs in sauce. Yeah. And I, mean, I know we're in Memphis, and they're known for a dry rib. But this is this is a it's a nice compliment to it. It's 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 got enough little heat to it, and a little back sweet, but that tang from some vinegar. It's a thin sauce. I mean, when when you look at it on a plate, it it drips right off your finger. You can see that drop like that, and it doesn't stick, but it's. It leaves a nice little sheen to it, so it's, it's just, it's not offensive. It's just a nice middle of the road white sauce. Good deal. So here at the Cozy Corner, one of the things that they recommended to us was their wings in addition to the ribs. Now it's really interesting that you get the whole wing here, including that tip. You don't see that a lot at a lot of restaurants. You see them separated out into the flats and the drums. And right. So, Mike, you've separated yours. Yep, I done pulled the tip off. I've separated the drummy and the flapper. And so you've got a, a, a non-sauce wing here. Yeah. So I'm going to eat wings the way I know how to eat wings, and that's just all in one bite. So here we go. It's not pretty, but it's tasty. What do you think? You know, the charcoal flavor comes through the wing as well. And it comes all the way through, not just the skin but I got it on the meat inside too. We'll put a little sauce on it and try it. Now, they recommend not to have the sauce, but if they didn't want you to have sauce, they shouldn't have put it on the table, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so far, the ring's good. Let's see how this drummy works. The sauce works well with the chicken, just as it does with the rib. It's an all-purpose sauce. I think it's a, yeah, I think it is. I think it's an all-purpose sauce. Coachy Corner got it going on. Grilled meats and the sauce they got complements it both ways. I mean, everything they got. I think we hit a home run here. One of those, one of those places that from the outside it's really deceiving, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I'm not sure that I would have stopped. Just from the looks of the outside. But come on looks in. Like, looks like they're making some, some improvements. They had a fire here a couple of years ago, and they yeah. put their pits outside. And they were informing us that they're actually going to be building a new room so that they can see everyone can see the pits too. Exactly. Yeah. Right now the pits are off, but in the back where you can't see them, they did that. They can see. Them. All right, Mike. So what we've got here looks to be a smoked and fried bologna. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You know, 
smoke baloney around Arkansas, Tennessee uh, is, is a staple. Uh, you know, if you if you grew up not eating fried bologna, I, I just hate that for you because you missed out on your childhood. But when you get up a little bigger, you get around these Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Alabama, smoked bologna is the thing to have. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was, I was on a TV show once, uh, American Grill, and it was one of the, uh, the secret episodes. It was the Memphis episode, and that was one of our, our secret ingredients. And uh, I think we were all quite surprised, but, but realizing that Bologna sometimes gets a bad rap, but I don't know why. It, it's some good stuff when done right. It does get a bad rap, and, and I think that was, you know, back years you know, ago, people would say, well, it's whatever was left on the floor, you know, that's what went in the blown. That's not true, you know. This is all USDA approved, and it's good stuff. Blown is good for you. So it looks like we have about a, what, a half an inch thick slice. I'm going to guess that's probably about a quarter, quarter? third of a pound of bologna on this sandwich here. Smoked uh, and then uh, fried on a flat top? Smoked and then fried on a flat top. Looks like it's got a little grill on it. Yeah. So, man, I'm kind of I'm kind of anxious to try that out. And with see with a little bit of that sweet sauce, it looks like, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, they asked, did we want that on the side or on it? Of course, we want it on the side so we can compare everything. Yeah. What do you say? Let's get a bite of that. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Oh, I think yours got cut a little small. That's okay. First impression. The smoke is just right. It's sauced, but again, cozy corner sauce complements the meat. That's what you want all of it to do. You got a barbecue sauce that overpowers, that's not good. You get one that just doesn't do anything, that's not good. Cozy corner sauce has complemented everything we've tasted here today. I'm kind of curious about the looks like a mustard slaw here. I'm not really it does a, have a little yellow tint to it. I'm not really it? a small person, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. Oh yeah, a mayo mustard. I believe it is. That's has just a little tangy to it. Yeah, it's really good. I'm surprised. I like a good slaw. I, I think I'm one of the few people that that do. But for me, slaw is a necessity with barbecue. I think so. Yeah. So here, let me let me try try a bite here. Let me, let me see what this is. So, that does look pretty good. First impression. There's nothing wrong with that. Tell you what, one thing would make it better? What's that? Tomato. A little bit oh, of... Oh no, see I'm not a tomato. Oh player. man. Like a, a bologna BLT <laughs> all day. But there, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's another winner. Three for three so far. Three for three. Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.